Was that thunder? Just great. <clears throat> this is Sarah McPherson, and welcome to American Mysteries. I finally arrived at another grimy little motel in another shitty little town in the middle of nowhere to cover a story for a show no one freaking cares about. Join me as we investigate why this reporter's career is dying a slow, painful death. <sighs> okay, let's try that again. This is Sarah McPherson, and welcome to American Mysteries. After a long journey, I have finally arrived at the small town of Black Hill. With a population of less than 500, this backwater vacation spot has become more known for missing person reports than the local accommodation. With mysterious disappearances, rampant paranoia, and even tales of cults performing satanic rituals and blood rites, join me as we investigate why this sleepy little town sleeps with one eye open.
Thank you, Grace. As a lifelong resident of Black Hill, have you noticed anything strange about the town? Anything at all that could explain these horrific kidnappings? It's always been like this. Young folks don't know, bless their hearts. They don't understand. Those things been here a long time, always watching us, waiting. They take those poor children for their blasphemous ways. I know what they do. I seen it with my own eyes. Those wicked, evil things. Hmm. Interesting. They look like us, you see. Sound like us, too. But they ain't us anymore. Oh, Paul, may God have mercy on your soul. What are these things, Grace? Who's Paul? I see him sometimes, standing there watching me, his hair still black as boot polish, his skin still soft as cotton, like the day we got married. He taunts me, tempts me away from the arms of my Lord God, testing my faith. Why, Paul, I begged you not to leave us, but it was too late. The devil got inside, took you over, took your soul. Grace, are you okay? But they won't get my Robbie. Not him. Devil won't get my boy. Not my boy. 